I was pissed when Williams didn't renew their license with Farsight Studios Pinball Arcade last year, because I bought more than half the tables. Now I got the chance to repurchase some of them on Zen Studios Pinball FX3. Which is better? Let's take a closer look. The first thing I noticed is the slick interface. Pinball FX3 has a better layout and the ability to thumb through tables and leaderboards easier. Whereas the Pinball Arcade is an antiquated mess, and even tables I already bought ask me to repurchase them if I access them through the tables pack, which is functionally retarded. Pinball FX also offers more gameplay variants, like matchups, challenges, and unlockable passive and active upgrades, and trophies. Pinball Arcade offers 5 standard goals and 5 wizard goals. Both games offer tips and guides on how to play the tables. TBA is more long-winded but thorough, while Pinball FX3 is more concise and easily digestible. The physics in Zen Studios is a little punchier, while TBA is a bit floatier. You can choose to play with or without the upgrades in Pinball FX3, and this is what I'm comparing how the ball handles under normal conditions. After extensive testing with Hurricane and Whitewater, I've come to the conclusion that I have more ball control with the Pinball Arcade. But this is me stopping short of saying that TBA is more realistic, because that's not entirely accurate either. But I can say that I was able to do more with the flippers in Farsight Studios. It's easy to say that graphics in Zen are better than Farsight's, but some tables like Hurricane look better in TBA. So it's really a case-by-case -case basis, with Zen having the upper hand more often than not. One reason for this is the lighting, which you can actually dial in with TBA if you have that kind of time. But I just prefer getting good defaults. The frame rate drops are more frequent and severe in Pinball FX3 than TBA, so it's really a toss-up when it comes to in-game visuals. There are more camera options in Zen Pinball FX3, but that doesn't make it better. In TBA, you have four views that you can cycle through, and I prefer this method of manually changing my perspective when necessary. If you try changing your view in Pinball FX3, it often screws up your flow, because some cameras are static and others are dynamic. So you need to just stick with one. I prefer Farsight Studio's solution to the age-old video pinball problem. In terms of actually looking at the pinball machines, TBA forces you to pay extra to explore the tables, and Zen has you hold down square while tilting the controller, and you still can't angle the camera. Both are far from ideal. Pinball FX3 sounds better than TBA. Have a listen. Oh, no! As of this moment, Zen Pinball FX3 is better than Farsight Studios Pinball Arcade. But that doesn't mean they can't coexist, and it doesn't mean that Farsight won't up its game in the near future by improving the interface and offering better gameplay incentives. Both titles would benefit bigly from an interactive 3D showroom. You know, a place where you can arrange your tables, you purchase and admire them. Do you have any suggestions for digital pinball going forward? Is there anything pinball related you'd like to see on this channel? Start a dialogue in the comments and share this video with your local showroom. Thank you.